So, uh, growing up in New York, both my parents worked. We wouldn't eat dinner till you know, between 8, 8.30 sometimes. Um, mom would come home early, and she'd usually prepare something. But my friends and I, we'd go out, and my friend Charlie and I, we'd go out and in the neighborhood and just grab a slice. Once Cisco became a place that was no longer for me, um, I still hadn't found a pizza place, so, you know, I, that's, that's what I wanted to do. So I kind of got into the pizza business, and I, I've never worked in a restaurant, or I've never operated a restaurant before. So, needless to say, obviously, I think I told you my, my mom wasn't real thrilled about that idea. I just, I didn't grow up in a cooking family, cooking household. Um, so, getting into something where I'm creating something with food, it was a, a, a little scary for me, because I didn't know what to expect, or even if I could even deal with that. Um, but pizza isn't really, to me, it's not, I don't still don't know how to cook, but I can make pizza. The pizza, to me, it's, it's more than just, it's not like people call it fast food. It's not really fast food because it's not fast to make. It's very, it takes a lot of time. It's just available, so it looks like fast food. Um, but it's all handmade. You know, New York, what, people ask, what's, you know, what makes New York pizza special? It's the water. It's, it's, not, it's not the water. It's the ingredients, and it's the time, and it's the care, and it's the love that goes into making the food. It's all hand done. And there's no shortcutting that. You can't just have the machine start cranking things out. And Shazam is the same thing. This is all hand done. It's an artist. It's, an, it's like an artisan craft. But, excuse me, pizza calls. <laughs> pizza getting cut.